Welcome to Vlogmas, you guys. I have decided I am going to try my very best to participate in Vlogmas this year. Um, a lot of people left comments saying that they wanted me to do it, and I really want to do it. Um, I think it will be fun, and I don't know. I have some ideas of, you know, some stuff that I might want to do this month. Uh, to get ready for Christmas and the holidays and everything else and um, I don't think I can promise you guys a video every day uh, just because it when you work full-time and family and other um, commitments and life and everything else um, that might be a little too much to commit to but I'm gonna do my very best to at least film something every day so I can at least get videos up in the whole spirit of vlogmas it might be like days combined whatever it is i don't know yet but um but i'm gonna do my very best to attempt vlogmas i apologize for the lighting it's nighttime and this is the kind of car lighting that that's available and um and also i forgot my mount i couldn't find it when i was leaving the house and i'm kind of in a time crunch like i've only got like a little while um before I have to go pick up my kid from basketball. So I figured the best way to kick off Vlogmas this year would be to go try on some holiday dresses. So I am actually sitting outside of a Chanel. I got an email from them today saying that all dresses are 30% off today. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna buy, buy anything uh, because um, I don't really know if I have any need for any really like flashy extra holiday dresses. Um, I don't really have any events that I mean I'm my life's pretty boring you guys come on um but I wanted to at least try stuff on for you guys and show you guys what's available because a lot of you guys probably have much more exciting lives than I do and you have places you got to go people you got to see at this time of year and um and exciting uh flashy extravagant outfits that you want to wear and should be wearing so I figured I'd go to a Chanel try on some holiday dresses with you guys and see what we can find. Additional is always a little hit or miss when you're pear shaped. They're, they're, a lot of their, um, a lot of their clothing is not necessarily cut for my shape, but sometimes you never know. Um, we might have some luck. So I saw some really cute, cute dresses on the website. Unfortunately, some of them are online exclusive, which really, really sucks. Um, cause they carry um, some city chic pieces now and I know they have like Rachel Roy and Michelle studio and all that other stuff So let's just go inside. I've only got a little bit of time. I've got about an hour So hopefully we can we could find some really really cute dresses in the next hour Let's see what we can do For my outfit of the day today, you guys, I'm just wearing a uh, black wrap dress that I got from Boohoo, which has really cool, like, puffy sleeves. I really like it. And the boots are from Torrid. And yeah. So uh, first, we'll start with the fail. Um, this, like, leopard print sequin shift dress is uh, just not cut for my shape at all. Um, I, I think I had it in a 24, and it was, um, like, huge on top and of course like didn't even fit from the waist down so that was a no-go um and also the leopard print was probably a bit too much for me it's not really like that's just too much like i would do a full sequin dress but probably not in leopard print but i just wanted to try it because it was like i don't know i think i think a lot of people would really like this dress so um but yeah it just just definitely just not cut for me um, but now we get to a dress that I did really like. So this, um, was in this like blue velvet. I thought I was actually going to love the blue color on me, um, more than I ended up 
liking. Um, but I, I love the cut of the dress. So it had like this like lace um, underneath the like detail underneath the, uh, the spaghetti straps. And uh, the straps are adjustable, which is actually really nice. Um, so you can kind of adjust it. It doesn't have to hang too low. Because for me, I always have to like really adjust the straps a lot. It has like a, that really nice like button detail down the side. Um, it's just like a really beautiful velvet bodycon. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was really, really pretty. The lighting in the fitting room is terrible. It, um, the shadows are not as bad if you are in normal lighting. So um, that's just one thing to keep in mind for the try on, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I just, the... I don't know. I'm just I, like velvet is everywhere this season, and um, and I I'm not mad at it. I actually I actually like it, and velvet is nice because it helps to like camouflage um, as well. So this is the exact same dress, but just in a um, like reddish wine color, and I definitely like this color on me a lot more. Um, it's just yeah. So it's just oh, those buttons are functional. I realized that when I put this one on because they were undone. Um, so you can kind of like, like loosen the buttons a bit on the side if you want to give the dress a little bit more movement. Um, but I really, really liked this color on me. Like I just thought it was so pretty. And, um, the only thing I guess that I would be a little concerned about is like in the winter, like a dress with spaghetti straps. I don't know. I just don't know how wearable it is. So this dress was beautiful. Beautiful. I love this dress. Um, the only thing was the uh, the straps were uh, too long, but um, they were done up with a button. Um, so if you cut like holes in the straps a little higher up, you could tighten it that way because these were like the tightest that they could go. But that uh, the the black and blue on this dress, like and just the way that the skirt just flowed, this dress was in an eighteen. Most of the fit and flare dresses that I got were in 18, um, just because they fit me the best on top and because they flare out, um, you know, um, I can get away with a 18. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really, really pretty. Like, I really liked this dress a lot. Um, different than what I normally wear, but I thought it was beautiful. So this dress was really nice as well. Again, it was in an 18. Um, it just, I don't know, it wasn't anything special. Um, the sequins were nice on it and the color was really pretty. Like, I really liked that, like deep, like lavender color. It was really pretty and it was a really nice chiffon. Um, the only thing is I find like it had like this keyhole opening in the back and I have this problem a lot, um, at the back of the dress, like the, that it puckers. Um, I don't know if it's because there's just too much fabric, um, in the back of the dress. It, that happens a lot with, um, with these kind of um dresses so um this red velvet dress actually this wrap style with um these like little cap sleeves and a little bit of a mesh detail at the top i, I this I, I actually this dress is beautiful like i wasn't sure at the end and you'll you'll um hear that when i'm talking to you at the end of the video uh between which one of these red velvet dresses I like the best, but I definitely, definitely like this one. I am really, really considering grabbing this one because I think that I can actually wear this one. Um, it's probably the most wearable out of all of the dresses that I did try on just because it, um, you know, um, it doesn't have to be like a super, you know, fancy function to pull this dress off. I think I could wear this like to Christmas dinner and I don't know. I just think it would look really, really good with um, black tights and like a pair of like black booties. I think that would look so, so, so cute. So um, I'm considering this one because I, I, I don't know. I haven't checked the prices yet. I'm going to link everything for you guys, but I haven't checked the prices yet. And, uh, but I don't think that one was that expensive. So this dress was also really, really pretty. Another one of my favorites. Um, it had, it was like a fit and flare style again with some like velvet floral pieces on it. Um, it was just really, really pretty. Like I actually, when I put it on, I actually liked it better than I thought I was going to. So this is definitely another favorite. I just think it's so pretty, so pretty. Like, I don't know. I was very, very, very happy and impressed with the dresses that I found at Additional. Um, you know, 
these dresses are definitely not cheap, but um, like you'll, I mean, like I said, I'm going to link everything so you guys can check everything out for yourself um, and check out prices and everything. But um, this one, um, again, I tried on in a size 18. Um, so I went out into like the, I showed it, um, I showed you it with the last velvet dress as well. I, I went out into the kind of the hall of the fitting room just to see if I could get some better lighting. And there's definitely some better lighting out there so you can get a better idea of what the dress looks like. But yeah, it's just so pretty. Like, I don't know, you guys. Additional is really stepping up their game with like this this year with their holiday dresses. It's just, it's just amazing. Uh, so this dress was um, a bit of a fail. This just shows you, it just isn't cut for my shape. Um, it is really pretty with like the sequin detail and the strappy details on top, but you know, the, I think this one was in a, I think it was a 20. I mean, definitely I probably for like the waist down for it to fit right. I probably would have needed a 24, but the top was already too big. So this dress just wasn't cut for my shape. So, but it is really, really pretty. Um, this dress is really, really pretty as well, but yeah, just not for me. So I actually like this dress a lot more than I thought I was going to. Like, especially looking back, the velvet on this dress was so luxurious. Like, I just kept wanting to, like, touch myself. It was just, like, so pretty. I think the only problem with this dress is I wish it just came in a little bit more. Like, it didn't, like... It, I wish it was a little bit more bodycon and a little bit shorter. I think I'm, I think I'm just too short for this dress, but I love the cutout on the, on the sleeves, um, and the chiffon detail and like the, the mesh, like just the combination of everything. I just think this dress is like very, very unique and, um, and just beautiful. So I think if I was just like, I don't know, four inches taller, I think this dress would have looked really, really good on me. I just think I'm just, a little bit too short for it. I mean, of course, you can always ham things. I know that. I know that. But, you know, I'm I'm just saying, if you want to, like, pick it up straight off the rack, it would probably be, like, suit you if you were taller than me. Um, but it was beautiful. So I thought this was going to be my favorite dress when I brought everything to the fitting room. This, like, metallic halter, like, umpired waist dress. It's so pretty. But... I wasn't really feeling it. Once I put it on, I was like, you know, compared to the, the other pieces I tried on, it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. I don't know if it was that the fabric was kind of, it kind of clung weird and draped kind of weird. Um, I don't know. Like I like the, the whole halter style and I like the, the metallic look and everything, but it just something about it. It just wasn't, it just didn't do anything for me. Um, but it is really, really pretty. I I think it's it's a gorgeous dress. All right, so this one, you guys, <laughs> this like tutu style, like sequined, strapless, gorgeous gown. Like if I had somewhere to wear this dress, so this was in an eighteen. Was it an eighteen or twenty? It might have been a twenty. Um, I had to like just like to get myself into it, like in my chest, it was like, it was a struggle because I didn't want to unzip it because of course I, I wouldn't have been able to zip it back up. So I kind of pulled it over my head and just kind of like forced myself in. But once I was in, I mean, this looked amazing. Um, I just, I just don't know if like I could handle all that tool. Like the, this, this it was just, it was a lot, <laughs> but it did. It just looked so gorgeous like I don't know if you have a function or somewhere where you know you need to basically like like turn heads everywhere you go um this is the dress for you um especially that the bodice on this dress it was just like it was amazing like um I don't know it's so pretty so pretty super fun you guys I I can't believe how many of those dresses I actually really really liked and I thought looked really really good and I would totally wear like that was crazy like if I was if if I had any need for any of those dresses trust me I mean I, I would probably pick up at least like 
I would have gotten the last one <laughs> for sure. Um, that looks like such a fun like New Year's. Like if I was going to like a fancy like New Year's party or something, that would be such an like I I just I've never had like my boobs like so like squished into something. Um, but <laughs> they looked so good like. And, but I mean, like that whole like tutu style skirt, it's a little much for me. It's, it's definitely a little much for me. And, um, I probably would be fiddling with it all night if I were to wear it, but I did think it looked super cute. If I think if I were to get any of those pieces, I think right now I'm kind of leaning towards the, the red velvet, um, one of the two, um, red velvet dresses, just because they're, the, they would probably be the most wearable for me, um, just going to like Christmas dinner or like out for New Year's or doing something like not like crazy extravagant because I I I, I just don't. Um, but but I loved so many of those dresses. Um, I definitely have to like watch the footage back just to see definitely like which which one I you know which one of the two red velvet dresses I would go with. I'm kind of leaning more towards the one that had like the little cap sleeves just because. Um, I think I would feel more comfortable in it, especially in the winter. Um, something like with like spaghetti straps, it just seems not as wearable for like winter, but I don't know, you guys, that was actually so fun. Um, I, I had like better luck than I thought I was going to. So, um, again, apologize for the lighting. I apologize for holding my phone. Um, nothing I can really do about it right now, but, um, but I'm excited. To, I think I got like Vlogmas off to an, a great start with this try on and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys have some ideas of like stuff you want me to do for Vlogmas. If you have any ideas or you know whatever like leave it down below and let me know and I'll definitely take it into consideration and see what I can actually like get up to and pull off this year um, on my channel. So um, I hope you guys are having a great, great day, great week. I hope you guys are excited for Vlogmas as well. I mean, I know a lot of YouTubers are participating in Vlogmas and it's always fun to watch. It's always fun to see what people get up to over the holidays and um, yeah. So um, I will, I don't know, I made pretty good time. So um, I'm probably gonna hit up Starbucks just to treat myself because I feel like it. And then I'm gonna go pick up my son and I'm going to go home and, uh, and I'll maybe see you guys tomorrow. Possibly, maybe not. Um, but I will film tomorrow and we'll see what kind of footage I get and then we'll see if I put it out. So anyway, um, I will talk to you guys 